Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite tools of all time, which is Uber Suggest. Uber Suggest is made by this guy called Neil Patel, who is super popular on the internet for his blogs about SEO, digital marketing in general. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to use Uber Suggest for keyword research. So keyword research is a very specific part of um, digital marketing. Uh, keyword research is basically the methodology to find the perfect keyword uh, which you can use to optimize your blogs, your website, your uh, different content pieces so that it is optimized for different search engines. So it could be the Google search engine, it could be Bing, whoever wants to optimize for Bing, I would not recommend that. Or it could be for YouTube even uh, because YouTube in the end is also a search engine and it pays dividends to do keyword research for YouTube as well. Okay, so we're going to talk about specifically on keyword research using Uber Suggest today. We're not going to talk about the other features that Uber Suggest has. There are quite a few, so I'm going to just focus on keyword. Um, firstly, uh, on the left hand side, you will see that there is uh, the keyword analyzer tab. So go into keyword analyzer and uh, just start with some kind of seed keyword. Okay, so let's say today I want to research about uh, digitizing my business. When I click search, I will see all the, uh, I will see the, the volume of people who are searching for this keyword every month. I will see the search difficulty and I will see the paid difficulty as well. I explain what that means. Uh, before I do that, I just want to explain what this language location means. So obviously Google is used throughout the world and, um, in India, um, you can choose which country you want to search for. So for example, if you want to optimize your website for the US, uh, you can choose English US. If you want to optimize it for the UK, you can choose English UK. You can do Japanese, English, Australian, whatever you want. So you can see over here uh, that you can see the search results for almost every language in the world, almost every language uh, which is indexed on Google. So let's go to India because that's the region that I work in. Uh, where did it go? Here. So even in India, I can do Bengali, I could do English, Gujarati, Hindi, whatever. I'm going to specifically look for English India because I want to get people to join my digitization course. So I need to find people uh, who are searching in English for how to digitize their business. Actually, I'm going to make it a little digitize my business. Okay, search. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that search volume is only 10. So only 10 people per month are looking for this. But at the same time, SEO difficulty is only 13. That means if I create a new piece of content, so if I create a blog on my website uh, with the keyword digitize my business, it's going to be relatively easy to rank uh, amongst, the, in, amongst the first page. Uh, paid difficulty is one, which is extremely easy. By the way, this is out of 100 and this is also out of 100. So that means that nobody's really paying Google uh, to bid for this keyword. So that means that if I start bidding on this keyword, I'm not going to have any competition and my cost per click is going to be quite low. Uh, but that's also because yeah, nobody's searching for this. So it doesn't matter. Um, now let's say, okay. So this is telling me everything about the, this keyword. It's also showing me who's ranking amongst the top for this keyword. Now let's say, okay, digitize by business. Nobody's searching for this. I want to find other keywords that do better. So I can click on keyword ideas and I can see, um, related okay there's not much related as well because uh yeah it's such a specific keyword but what i can click on is also search results over here uh, it always takes a bit of time to load but what this will show you is it will show you the top 10 search results for this keyword and it'll show you what kind of competition basically that you have um and you can see that the competition is not very high uh, you can see that the average domain authority is only about 20 or 30 so yeah, um, has 11 backlinks and a domain authority of 42. The domain authority of 42 is pretty high, but 11 backlinks is pretty easy to um, replicate. Um, so you can you can rank for this uh, quite easily. Um, so, okay, digitize my business doesn't work. Um, let's just search for digitization. That's more generic. So we're likely to see much more search volume for this. And obviously here you can see that uh, 22,000 people are searching per month for digitization. Um, ration card digitization, that's a very specific one. Um, what I like to do is I like to sort the keywords by SEO difficulty. 
so all the top keywords will be at the top and the, the easier will be, ones will be at the bottom okay uh, then i go through and i see okay which ones have very easy seo difficulty but also have decent um volume so over here i can see that this has a seo difficulty of only five but it has 90 people per month searching for it and if i click on search results okay blah, 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 blah. It's, it's loading yeah um the the average one has only one backlink and a domain authority of 44. so i think i could probably rank on this um for this keyword 90 is not the best but it's at least something right um over here see ration card digitization 1900 people are searching for this um and seo difficulty is only 14. um the digitization of banking this is related to the one that we saw earlier and if i look at this search results you can see that most of it the first the first three major ones are government websites which you can't really compete with um and then there's not much else about it there's a little bit but not too much so um yeah this is something that you could make content about if you really want to um yeah so this is basically looking at how you can find new content to make uh, sorry new keywords to make content about um you can also save them so for example i can pick my keywords like this and i can add it to a list um, so that later on when i want to refer to it again i can just easily go to my keyword list and i can uh, look at it so for example uh, this is my wife uh, wife's company haiku and she was making a keyword list about direct to consumer because she wants to be she does branding and packaging for direct to consumer products so this is a list that she made for direct to consumer it looks like she picked some very difficult keywords <laughs> um but yeah i don't know why but this one this is a good one what d2c means and you can see she's also focused on uh, english united states because she wants to focus more on international clients rather than indian clients um okay so another thing that you can do is that you can export this to csv um, I like to do this sometimes if I want to go deeper, if I want to filter, if I want to sort and all of that stuff, which I can't do so much over here. Uh, that's where exporting to CSV really helps. Um, this is another feature that just came out recently, uh, page one ranking potential. Basically it shows based on the, the SEO of my website, what is the ranking potential of a particular keyword? So if I click on this, uh, so this is for my, okay, let's change it for the Indian dream. Okay um they filtered results to show target keywords between zero to 79 seo difficulty oh wow that's a pretty broad range um so it's telling me that if i want to rank on page one i should target a keyword that has seo difficulty between zero and 79. Uh, basically the better your seo on your website uh the the harder keywords that you can target okay uh, one last thing uh, before we go uh, the questions tab over here so you can see that it's not working for me because uh, what you can't see is that on my google chrome i have a lot of uh, uh, privacy blockers a lot of um, yeah ad blockers and stuff like that so that's why you can't see this but this is a very very useful tool uh, basically it tells you what kind of questions people are asking so if you don't have as many privacy tools as me you'll basically be able to see all the questions people are asking so i'll just pick something out from here uh, these things will usually start with a why or a what or a how over here see how digitization is paying for dbs i don't even understand what this question means uh, but um, building content around these kind of questions is very helpful and that's basically how the whole of quora is built um, is built around seo for these kind of questions so qu the questions tab is super super useful another thing that's super useful is instead of searching for a keyword i can just search for a competing website okay um so a website that we sometimes try to compete with is called a juniorvc.com sorry juniorvc.com i think that's the correct let me just double check i think that's correct yeah that's correct so let me search for juniorvc.com so what this will show me is that it'll show me the amount of traffic that is getting organic traffic not uh, paid traffic show me the demo domain authority the number of backlinks they have um excuse me how they've done they did really well last year towards the end of last year but something has happened since then i don't know what um 
it'll show me what the top pages are. Uh, it'll show me uh, yeah, what the top keywords are for which they rank. This is super important uh, because it tells me what keywords should I be targeting. So um, for most companies, you will find that some of the top keywords are tend to be brand keywords. So the bigger your brand, the more uh, brand keywords you'll see over here. Now, let me click on view all SEO keywords this domain ranks for. Okay. Whew. This always takes a little bit of time, but okay, here you go. Uh, so let me sort it by position. Okay. Huh, that's surprising. That their top position is only 13. I somehow doubt that. Um, anyway, so what, what Uber Suggest does is it takes your position, it takes the volume for that keyword, and based on what the position is, um, it calculates a estimated percentage of how many people are visiting uh, your website from that link. So for example, if you're ranked number one for something uh, and the volume for that keyword is 4,400, the estimated visits will obviously be much higher because the chance of somebody uh, coming in from that is much higher. Um, yeah, so it might be 10%, might be 15%, I don't know. Okay, um, so yeah, that's about it. So you can, you can do basically a competitor analysis. You can see how their SEO is, how they're doing, and uh, and you can base your own SEO strategy based on how they are doing. So I'm going to take another website, okay? So there's this other company called Podium. Uh, I think that's their website, podium.in. They are a podcast business. Nope, that is not their website. I don't remember what the website is. Forget it. But basically, you can do this for other, um, yeah, you can do this for other websites. So junior website, you can see a junior VC, you can see that, that the top pages by traffic is this, all this stuff. And it also shows you how much has been shared on Facebook and Pinterest. That's very important for SEO. Uh, you can click on similar websites. You can see similar websites to a junior VC. So which ones are those? Hmm. As it loads. So competing domains. Um, okay, so it's taking a bit of time. Okay, yeah, here you can see that. You can see that competing domains are some giant competing domains. Um, live men, business standard, your story, in the times. I don't think AJVC has any chance against any of these giant websites. Um, I would have chosen some other stuff. You can uh, remove them uh, and you can put something else if you want. So, okay, it's auto populating other websites when I remove them. Okay, so yeah, and then you can export to CSV all the competing websites uh, with their estimated traffic. Uh, you can see what the common keywords are. And yeah, you can base into your entire SEO strategy based on that. It's, it's, it's a very, very useful tool. And I would highly recommend it to anybody who is building the SEO for their website. I love Uber Suggest. It costs $290 for their lifetime plan. Here, let me just click on that. Yeah, this is the one that I have. The $290 for the lifetime plan. Um, you don't really need it. Uh, for the business plan, unless you have a lot of websites that you're managing. Um, if you just have one to two or three, yeah, this is good enough. I highly recommend it. And that's it for how to use Ubersuggest for keyword research.